Hi, I'm Shelly Stilger. I'm the owner of Twist Yarn Shop in Wichita, Kansas, and I'm going to show you how to sew an overcast seam. An overcast seam is um, one way to join two pieces of fabric, and it's a seam that is pretty visible, um, and so it's something that you want to use either in a hidden part of your garment or your purse or whatever it is that you're seaming, um, or you need to use it as a decorative stitch because you'll be able to see it once you've seamed. What I've got here are two pieces of fabric and I've got the right sides together so the wrong sides are out and facing me. And normally what I would do is I would use the same color yarn and I would have left my tail long enough to stitch through here and use the tail as the seaming yarn. However, so that you can see what I'm doing, I am going to use a contrasting thread so that you can, you can see what, um, how the stitch works. Now, if you look at the top of your bound off pieces of fabric, each bound off stitch looks like a little V. And I'm gonna take my tapestry needle under one side, one piece of fabric, pick up a V, and then go to exactly the next stitch that corresponds on the other side and pick up the next V. And then I'm gonna pull my yarn through. Um, since I'm using a different piece of yarn, I'm gonna leave a tail long enough to weave in the ends at the end. And then I'm gonna come over the fabric. I'm going to pick up the next little V in the line and the next little V in the line together like that. And then I'm going to pull through and I'm going to come over the seam again, pick up the next one in line. And then I'm just going to continue in this way until I get to the end. Your seam will be neatest if you line up each stitch exactly with its neighbor stitch so that you have the same number of stitches lined up together. And I'm going to get down here and then I'm going to open this up so that you can see what the seam looks like. And the reason why you, um, you'll be able to see it so well is that when you turn your right sides of your fabric out, you've got stitches that run down along here. So if you want a seam that's visible, that you're going to use as a decorative element, then this is a good stitch to use. But if you want an invisible seam, I've actually got another video called How to Seam Purse, How to Seam Purses Together, that will show you some invisible techniques for seaming. I'm just going to work to the end and then I'm going to weave my ends in and show you how to weave in. Okay, so here I am at the last couple of stitches. There's my finished seam. So now I need to weave in this end so that it doesn't uh, pull out of the fabric. And I'm gonna weave this end in just on the um, wrong side of the fabric so that you won't be able to see it when you turn it over. And so I'm going to take along these pearl bumps on the side, I'm just gonna take my little piece of yarn and weave him in each of these stitches just down the edge like so. When you're weaving in your end, you need to go an inch and a half or two inches to make sure that it's secure. And then you can trim that off. And there you have your overcast seam. Thank you very much.